The day is finally here where we get to expertise Frederick the First. We've been getting his sculptures from Gold Keys, and boom, the final sculptures are in. The real question is, is it even worth it? Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiskool Gaming, and today we're going to be expertising Frederick the First, who is a conquering leadership and skill commander. The real question I have, though, is given the world in which we have all these other options for legendaries, what do you use Frederick the First for, and is he worth putting your sculptures into? If you like Rise of Kingdoms guides that help you get value and smash your enemies, consider smashing that subscribe button for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos. We're a sponsored content creator, and although Freddy was pretty good when you didn't have so many legendary commander options, when your kingdom gets older, you've got a lot of other things that you could consider and go get a look at. So what we're going to do in this video is first talk about the expertise skill and what it is that you're actually gaining when you max out this commander. We're going to reference you back to our 2020 Frederick guide, which is going to evaluate this commander and do a full breakdown. So in this video, we're going to focus in purely on the expertise skill which is pretty straightforward. The way Frederick's first skill works is that he gives himself a buff. For the next three turns, he has a chance to do 800 damage factor. And there's an 80% chance. That means sometimes you'll do as low as zero damage factor if you get really unlucky. And sometimes, when you're very lucky, you'll get as much as 2,400 total damage factor over the course of that three seconds. But the expertise skill says, you know what, all that randomness, forget it. You just get it guaranteed, baby. Guaranteed damage for three seconds. Every second, you're going to do 800 damage factor. That's the active skill. And that is freaking powerful. 2,400 damage factor to a single target? I mean, I don't think there are commanders that do that much damage. Heck, it's really just maybe Minamoto that gets kind of close to that if you get the extra damage factor over here. So we've really got a commander here that's doing an astonishing amount of damage to a single target. The problem I have with that in 2020, by the way, is that you rarely want to hit a single target. I mean, maybe, maybe... In Golden Kingdom, you can create a lot of situations where that's a thing you want, but let's stop speculating about how this works and just show you exactly what this looks like with and without the expertise skill. Now, to do that, I'm going to run into the expedition. We're going to do the rally portion, hitting a city here. We're going to use a commander that I think is really good to pair Freddy with, and that is going to be Khan. We're then going to choose as a secondary commander our Frederick the First, load up the calves, and we are ready to go. Now, the reason I wanted to test this this way is that you can get a sense before I expertise just how much variability there is. Just how much variability there is with that active skill when there's an 80% chance for the damage to apply. And with a commander like Khan as the primary, we're going to generate so much rage and have such a fantastic rage reduction that these skills are going to be firing off nearly constantly. So after the first active skill fires off, which is there, you see the damage from Khan. Now you're going to see Freddy gets that buff. And over the course of the next couple seconds, there's a chance to do damage. So every time you see about 23,000 damage, 29,000 damage, like that's the damage from Freddy firing off. 39,000 for the active skill of Khan, then 18,000, 20,000, 24,000. And you see that there are pretty meaningful pauses here. Like, we just did damage only once, which is kind of disappointing. There we got three times, it looks like. But, you know, the, the range. There we did three times, which is nice. The range is quite significant. There we did only once. So there is a huge amount of variability so even without expertising this commander, you might, in some fights, get the punch like he's expertised, and in some fights, you're going to get so little damage, you're going to be really disappointed. On average, I think it's almost 500 damage factor extra. 
I think it's about 500 damage factor, a little, little bit less than that. Uh, maybe 460 damage factor extra, 480 damage factor extra, uh, that you get by going from an 80% chance to a 100% chance. That's on average over time. So you can see with a commander like Khan, you have a huge uptime on a high amount of single target damage. Let's go and expertise this commander and see just how much better it is. Just how much better it is in this game mode. And we could take them on the field as well if that's something you're interested in. So we're going to go in. We're going to select Freddy. We're going to hit the skills. We're finally doing this thing. The last skill that we had over here is the troop capacity, an extra 3% troops, which does mean more damage, by the way. We're going to do this thing. Boom. Final skill is unlocked. And I mentioned, by the way, I've got all these universal legendary commander sculptures. Uh, we have been getting this commander from Gold Keys. Let's expertise him, and we'll talk about this. Are you ready for Frederick the First's expertise skill, baby? Here it is. Boom, break that glass. There we go. Furious Barbarossa. We're up to that 100% chance to get the damage dealt. Very, very solid. Commander power, 2,500. Because the thing I needed is 2,500 more power. Okay, let's go now and watch the 100%, 100% applicability of this skill it should be a lot more damage and this should be very noticeable and very meaningful so we're going to load this commander up and here we go we now can bring extra troops we're up to 240,000 troops which is a nice little bump i believe it was 234,000 troops before there is our con freddy fired up 100 percent chance now because this commander just does so much raw damage, that's why I like to pair him with commanders that really have a nice rage engine. Generate lots of rage, reduce the rage cost. Another really great commander that you could pair with is Saladin, and I think that's very, very exceptional. Here we go, making our way over. I guess we generate a little bit of rage from getting hit on our way over, perhaps? Actually, no. No, we don't. Uh, okay, there we go. Hitting the city, and active skill is used on Khan. Now we get the buff, and one, two, three times you see damage. There we get the buff again. One, two, three times you see damage. Really insane. One, two, three times you see damage. The consistency here is really quite astonishing how much better it is than just that last run we had. It, I should have kept track of the number of units remaining here just to see how much better this is but it looks pretty friggin amazing there we go again the damage one two three and the active skill of khan is firing off again i mean the rage engine on khan is insane i said this when i originally expertise khan that he would have a lot of long time value in the game so where would a freddy like this be good you know honestly Freddy is kind of weird in his design. He's kind of optimized for swarming cities, which is unusual. He's got troop capacity. So even though he does lots of single target damage and he does good damage to cities, most conquering commanders have four relevant skills when you hit a city. But troop capacity, like look, assuming you could fill your rally anyways, and I kind of assume that you were going to be able to fill your rally Having the extra troop capacity on Freddy does literally nothing. You can contribute more troops to the rally, but your rally was going to be full anyways. And that's the real flaw of Frederick I. If this skill over here made it so that you also could send more troops into a rally, suddenly he would be extremely relevant in 2020. In addition, if this wasn't just hitting cities, if this was all garrisons, he would be so much more relevant in 2020. But if you watch my video yesterday where we're battling in the ancient ruins, I'll put a card up in the top if you want to check that out. Huge battle, massive fight. And you just really need area of effect damage. This single target damage, while it is pretty cool, I could go in on one target and do some really crazy stuff, it kind of isn't all that impressive. We'll fire this up again this time. Let's do something a little bit different. Let's do a Guan Yu primary with our Freddy secondary because Guan Yu is a commander I really would consider bringing to, you know, a, a Ruins or Altar of Darkness. And I just, 
I'm prepared to be unimpressed compared to the con because con generates so much more rage, reduces the rage cost, really. The, the active skill fires off a lot more. I rarely want this single target damage. That's that's the problem here. So let's get a look at what this looks like when we're battling with a Guan Freddy hitting a city here. That is a pretty decent combo generally for hitting a city. Guan also gets a lot of value for hitting a garrison. Here we see a lot of damage fire up. There is the Freddy, one, two, and three. Guan's damage, massive amount of damage. Freddy, one, two, three. Guan. And you see that it's a, it's a bit less frequent. It's a bit less frequent than when we were using the Khan. But it is still actually quite a lot of damage. I don't know, maybe this is better than I thought. Maybe this is better than I thought. It is more frequent than I was expecting. Guan is really generating a lot of rage. I thought the 150 total rage reduction from the con, that's 50 from the active skill rage requirement reduction and 100 from the secondary would be extremely noticeable, but I don't know. It's noticeable, but only by maybe a second or two. Not, not bad. Not bad. Now, you know, a classic combo here that you could use really early in the game is going to be the E song with Freddy. And I've got to take that for a spin. The 50% active skill damage on the Freddy. I mean, that's that really sounds insane. Given that he's all about skill damage, boosting it by 50%. I mean, that's got to be the jam, you know? So you can see what that looks like with the Guan. Actually better than I thought. Actually better than I thought. We'll challenge this again. We'll go in over here. And now we're going to use E song. Secondary is going to be the Freddy. Get a quick look at what that looks like. And of course, we're going to use those archers. Oh my gosh. Yeah, dude. If we're using all archers and we get the 100% damage proc from the E song, actually, I'm prepared for this to be out of control. I am mentally prepared now <laughs> for this to be perhaps, perhaps a little out of control. Let's see what we think of these archers. 50% more damage, eh? Let's see how we like this. Now, because Freddy has additional damage factor listed in his primary skill, I would try to take Latent Power as a talent. Here's the E song, 58,000 damage, 11,000, 34,000, 48,000. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. That's a lot more damage. We're doing, I feel like we're doing a lot more damage. See, 20,000 is normal. And that, that feels more normal. But like that 37,000, 28,000, man, we must have the E-Song buff when that's happening, right? That's a little out of control. Oh, man, that's a lot of damage. Well, I officially like that as a combo. In case that was unclear. That's an astonishing amount of damage. Jeez. Good lord. Good lord. Yeah, this is... Oh, 75,000 damage. Esong is classic good stuff, y'all. Classic good stuff. I find myself very intrigued now, wanting to test out just a few more combos on this garrison, just to play around a little bit more. That Esong damage with the Freddy. Just massive amount of follow-up damage there. Pretty solid. I like what I see. Victory. Let's get a look at a couple more combos here. The ones that I'm sort of interested in. I'm interested in, let's see, a Saladin would be kind of interesting for the amount of damage that you do. I can show you an example of a pair, though, that I don't think makes sense. Just to give an example of, like, <laughs> the opposite of what I would try to do here, right? The opposite of what I would try to do would be, like, an Edward with Freddy. This is... This is the sort of thing that's Alexander the Great. Freddy, take off your, your Alexander the Great costume, all right? So this is like the opposite. Let me just contrast this. The opposite of what you want to do here is Edward. So the reason I don't like this is Edward has a much higher rage requirement. And so even though, like, yeah, he's a powerful commander in general, 
This is literally the opposite of what we want. The more we fire off Freddy's active skill, the more value we're getting from him as a commander because he's really a one-trick pony. That's the one thing he does. Bringing extra troops, I mean, that's cool. You get that from the start of the fight. That's cool. Getting a heal, I mean, that's cool, but doesn't really amp up his effectiveness or down his effectiveness to, you know, have more troops or more rage gen for that skill. But this, you can see the frequency of that damage is a good bit lower. It's a good bit lower. It's a lot of damage, though. Wow. Wow. 35,000? 30, 30, wait, why is that damage so high? Um, what? What's happening right now? That's a lot of damage. Every time I feel like I understand this game, Every time I feel like I understand this game, I go and I learn something. Let's get a look at this again and just see how much damage are we doing? 19,000, 19,000, 18,000. That's a lot of damage, actually. What's going on here? Okay, so that Edward pairing was way better than I was expecting, and I realize why now. Um, we get the 25% extra skill damage from the third skill on this commander, which like, oh yeah, that's actually <laughs> halfway to Esong's amount of extra damage dealt there. And when the army led by this commander is at 70% strength or higher, which it is for most of this fight, it gets 40% more attack. Oh yeah, that that's a lot. That's really good. That's really, really good. Okay, so that's why that pairing did way better than I was expecting. Like, way better than I was expecting. I'm actually a little bit astonished at how good that pairing was. I don't know. Maybe I've, maybe I've been underestimating Freddy this whole time. I'm going to run this E-Song back and just get another look at how much damage we're doing here. Because that... Edward pairing. We did a lot of damage. I don't think we fire off the active skill as much as I would like, but man, that was a lot, a lot of damage there. All right. So what I would expect to see with the E song is really massive damage, right? Like there's a hundred percent proc, there's fifty percent extra skill damage. So there's the E song fire that did sixty-seven thousand. Now Freddy is doing how much damage? Forty-three. 37, 29, 35. Wait, was that? One of those I think was not actually the damage. 44,000, 43,000. Okay, 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 okay. So this pairing was more damage. I thought so. 50,000. Oh, that must have been the active. Oh, 50,000 again. Man, yeah, there's a lot of damage going on here. Hard to keep track of it all. So there's 30,000, 44,000, 44,000. Good Lord. Okay. Okay, Esong, I see you. You're still doing work, buddy. I see you. I appreciate you too. Man, we're going to have to play around with this a little bit and see what we think. If we can find a use for Freddy, I just really feel like in that open field, you need, you need that AoE damage because you generally, yeah, like 2,400 damage factor is really good for a single target, but if you can hit multiple targets, you're going to get probably a more combined damage factor by doing that hopefully you enjoyed this video i'll be eager to hear what you're going to do with your frederick the first and as a public service announcement i do not recommend using universal legendary commander sculptures on frederick the first we did this entirely with gold keys we waited a very 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 long time because let me tell you something once you use those universal legendary commander sculptures and expertise a gold key commander Every time you get their sculptures, every single time you get their sculptures from a gold key, it's just waste. And that's kind of a bummer. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel for more Rise of Kingdoms daily uh, expertising of commanders. Okay, maybe not daily, but we will be expertising more commanders soon. We're up to 2,300 legendary commander sculptures, 2,200, whatever, a lot. We're out for now. Until next time.
You have fun smashing the kingdom. <laughs>